and welcome back to my channel. This is me now with my hair all curly. Do you think it looks better? Now that it's got a bit of style and my makeup is done. Anyway, so I also burnt myself. Can you see how red that is? With my curling iron, which I've never done before. So it really hurts. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to take care of that. So, I am back with another video. I had recently come back from Japan, although by the time I edit this and upload it, it won't be recently anymore. I bought some goodies and I thought I would do a test testing. Kit Kats are a thing around the world, right? But in Japan, they have like over a hundred different flavors, which is really weird and interesting because most countries tend to only have like 10 or so and they might be pretty basic like ours is a, a white chocolate, a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate, a mint, caramel, like they're pretty basic flavors. Okay so I have eight flavors to try today. There is apple, interesting, sake and please pronounce it sake not sake. I don't know who pronounces it sake but I do not like you because it irritates me. Rum and raisin. Picking all of the alcoholic ones, right? Then we have strawberry tiramisu. This one is an interesting one. Sakura cherry blossom. And roasted soybean. Some fun flavors. We have strawberry, grape, and Hokkaido melon and mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone? Mascarpone? Anyway, so these are some fun flavors. Apparently, you can't get the melon one outside of um, 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 Tokyo Narita Airport, but I don't know if that's 100% true because I just went into our um, store in Melbourne and they had something like this there. So when it says there, it's only at the airport, don't necessarily believe into the hype that you can't get it outside of the airport because I think you can. First on the agenda is Apple. It is Shinshu Apple. Okay, so it comes with like a heap in there. How many is in a packet? 12 in a packet. These ones are more expensive because they're the like souvenir kind of ones. So you can get the ones that were like in the bag and they're a lot cheaper. This is what it looks like. Oh my god. I'm so excited and nervous to try all of these flavors because I'm hoping some of them are good, but I'm expecting some of them to be horrible. It has like a really sweet apple smell, but like you could like it's kind of like you breathe it, you can smell it, and then it like it's masked by the chocolate. Honestly, I don't know. I think it's a no for me. I don't even know how to describe how this tastes. Like the chocolate is really strong and that's the biggest flavor but then there's like this I guess apple flavor like weird kind of artificial tasting apple flavor that's just not that pleasant it's not bad honestly but wouldn't get it again one down the next one I am super terrified Sakura and roasted soy beans. Like, I have to admit, I've tried Sakura one when I was in Japan. It is awful. It tastes like, I don't know if anyone really likes it, but to me, it tastes like, you know when you get cough syrup and it's gross? Like, well, if you ask my father, he loves cough syrup, but it's like a sickly sweet, gross medicine flavor. That's what it tastes like. So. Yay. Okay. I was worried that if these were going to come in like individual packets or if they're just going to be all unwrapped. But these two have huge package. In this one, there is also 12. That is what it looks like. Not much flavor to it, it just smells like a wafer. Yeah. Might have to vacuum my floor again. I'm eating my hair. 
Honestly, this is nice. Have you ever had those, um, I have to put a photo up to somewhere to explain what I'm getting. But have you ever had like those, um, supermarket, really cheap packets of like wafers that have like either vanilla, strawberry or chocolate. These taste like the vanilla one. I'm not picking up much sucker at all. It is a little aftertaste of something, but it's not really sh like, these are actually all right. This one, if it goes wrong, they've done something wrong with the world because, because it is strawberry ichiko. There's three in like this little box. I got this from the airport. So there's like at Narita Airport when you go inside, I guess when you walk through customs. So when you walk in, you can go right and down the end, there's like a little souvenir shop halfway down. And then if you go left, there's like that's the main shopping area section. I don't know what's on the outside because I didn't have a chance to check. But um, yeah, in, on the inside, if you go left to the big shopping section, they only sell like really big boxes of stuff. But if you go right, they sell like little small packets if you just want like a sample of everything. Strawberry one. Ichiko. Kawaii. Next. Do you reckon it'll be white or pink? Do you reckon it'll be pink? I'm thinking pink. Oh yeah, definitely pink. Ooh, that smells good, but it kind of has that like medicine smell <laughs> as well, but oh well. I like it. I'm really gonna have to clean up my floor because like this is not working out well for me. Oh. Hmm. Mm. It's like all right, but it's nothing like great or special. It kind of still has that like weird artificial strawberry flavor. Um, I'm probably with a mouthful. That's disgusting and gross. How dare I? Um, when I was going around Japan and in Korea, there was like a lot of strawberries. I guess. I'm also in Korea that was like heaps of strawberries at the time. They were like having a strawberry festival, whereas Japan it was more like the sakura. But I enjoyed myself so much indulging in all of the snacks, like going around and finding Pringles that were sukiyaki flavored, that were takoyaki flavored. I didn't get them. I wanted to get them, but then they came in like a like a, what's in a souvenir pack. With like three small cans. I wanted like a souvenir pack that had like three different kinds of flavors, but they're all just like one flavor. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get it in the end. But I tried like a heap of different flavored ones, like karage and smoked cheese and egg sandwich, which was weird, guys. Come on, don't make an egg sandwich Pringle. That's just, that was gross. It tasted like egg. <laughs> at least that was something, but it was gross. Ugh. I'm at three in and I'm already at my overdose limit. This should be an interesting one. This is the melon, Hokkaido melon and mascarpone, pone, pone, I don't know, cheese. I can't English. So you've got like either, you'd call it rock melon or cantaloupe, depending on how you pronounce your fruits. This was also one from the airport. So this one, if I can open it, is like a yellowy, kind of cretiny colour to do with probably the melon. Ooh, this smells nice. You know how things have that, I don't know about other melon flavours, but um, when they do like watermelon, it's got like that really kind of nice scent, although it never actually has like a really, I would, does watermelon have a scent? I don't think it even has much of a flavour to be honest because it's just mainly water. But it has that nice kind of floral, kind of melony free scent that you get like. Oh. It's just weird. It's like you have to take another bite because you don't know how you feel about it. Not for me. So far, there we go. Soybean, sakura, strawberry, melon, apple. Nothing so bad yet, but here comes sake. And I'm a little scared. 
But then last time I was scared with the bean, soybean one, and like that turned out delicious. So this was also a gift box that I got in Yokohama and it got squished on the flight home. I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, I have to buy this. And then I saw another one and then I saw another one and I was like, guys, okay, now I'm collecting all of the weird flavors that I really want to see what they taste like. And that is how my journey began to have an obsession with, with buying all of these Kit Kats to try and come and make a video. Sake flavored packaging. Hmm. Flavored packaging. It's the flavor, the packaging does not have the flavor. Okay, moving on. So it's like, I guess, a white chocolate base. Oh my god, that smells like alcohol. I'm gonna die. Do you reckon this actually has like an alcohol content in it? 0.4%. So I think there's zero. Is there a 0.4% alcohol in this? The elegant taste of sake wrapped in the gentle sweetness of white chocolate. Enjoy the rich, satisfying flavor of sake. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate this. This is so, this is such a strong flavor. Okay. I'm gonna spit it out. I wanna throw up. Ah! Nope. Ah! Oh, that was gross. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. That's gross. I still have like one half left and I'm not going there. Ah! Why did I do that to myself? Oh. Um, nope. We have three left. That was number five. I have eight in total, so we have three left. Strawberry tiramisu. I'm still just so disgusted by the last one. Why I did that to myself, I will never know. This is a cute little photo. How cute is that? Ichigo tiramisu. Yeah. I think a lot of these got a little broken and damaged in the trip too. There's also in a white chocolate one. A lot of these have been white chocolate, except for the first one, which was um, the milk chocolate, I think, with the, the apple. Yeah. Ooh. 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 I think I like this. I don't know. So it's got like, in the middle, I don't know if you can see. It's got the traditional kind of like tiramisu coffee flavor. And the outside is the white chocolate. It's got some strawberry like dots over it, so it's got that strawberry flavor too. I don't know. I'm putting this below. Taste slow sakura is still my favorite. Let's go tiramisu. Strawberry, melon, apple, sake. Number, that's number six there, but I, that can be number six. Two to go. With how well the sake went, I am honestly not looking forward to this. I didn't want to throw up when I ate the sake one, but mm, now I'm feeling so over the sugar. And I have ramen raisin. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You know when you regret something? Yeah, just, just think of that feeling. <laughs> and just know what I'm going through right now. Instant regret. That is the little packaging of the sake, oh, not sake, the rotten raisin. We got it covered with the white chocolate. Mm. I just hit the rum. Yep, not fit. Nope, not finishing that. Been there with the sake. Ugh. Okay, if you like alcohol, you will like those Kit Kats. If you're like a rum drinker, or if you're a sake drinker, then you'll probably like those things. I'm not big on alcohol. If I'm gonna pick an alcohol, I'm picking champagne. Or tequila. <laughs> um, but 
yeah, not a big alcohol drinker. I did not enjoy that. Last but not least, we have Braith. This was also from the Narisa Airport. It's like Braith in Japanese. Grepu. The word for grape, the Japanese word for grape is Udo. Okay, so it's either Grepu or Udo. Please feel free to educate this white girl. I'm hoping it's purple. Please let it be purple. It's also going to be like a white chocolate base. Definitely has that, you know, artificial, standard artificial grape smell. I don't know if like, the, what does it like, in like Western olives, but definitely like a high chew. Have you ever had a high chew? The grape flavour. Yeah. I'm so terrified this is going to taste like medicine now. Oh well, here we go. Okay, it definitely kind of just tastes like medicine. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if it's because I'm like really over Kit Kats right now. But, uh, no. I'm still with a plain old Kit Kat. It's so far better than every other Kit Kat that I've tried. Just a plain little chocolate Kit Kat. Okay. Ranking number one. Still on my number one list is the... <coughs> Sorry. It was more gross to me than it was for you. Because I can taste everything again. Number one is the soybean and sakura. The number two was the strawberry tiramisu. Number three, I go strawberry. Four, melon. Five, apple. Six, grape. Seven and eight are, are equal because Sake and rum and raisin were just horrid. Just not for me. If they're for anyone, I have nothing to say to that. If they are for anyone, if anyone really likes them. Yeah, I got no words for you. I got no words for you. That's just not, it's just not for me. Just not for me, okay? Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed me torturing myself because I did it. So I'm hoping someone does because this is otherwise pointless. Um, I do have a part two coming. I have <sighs> eight more flavors to try. I'm looking at them right now. So if you did like this, please um, keep an eye out for when part two comes out of me trying Japanese Kit Kat flavors. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you liked it and you're feeling generous, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever makes you feel good. And I will see you when I see you. Mwah.